morning, friends. Happy snowy Monday. Just make sure everything's on. There it is. Okay. Welcome. I'm Diane. And thanks for joining me or um, thanks for coming back if you've been with me before. Oh, so if you're in the United States and you're not getting snow, please tell me where you're at. Because I'm coming. I am not a snowy person and this is just not stopping. So, welcome. Um, <clears throat> I am Diane Apple Hole Stamper and this is our January shopping code. So if you shop with me through my online store and use the shopping code, I send out a little thank you for supporting me. So this month, um, let me see, when you spend $50 or more through my online store, I'm sending you a pack of classic matte dots, which come in black, gray, vanilla, and white. And when you spend $100 or more, you reach, um, you get the matte dots, and you get a Wink of Stella glittery pen that you can use on everything. Yay. All right. So there's my, my, my little pitch today. huh? So I have to go in later today and get um, place an order because I don't know. I just haven't taken the time to do that yet. And now I'm kind of upset with myself because we're going to use sentimental swirls today. And there is not a coordinating die set for this. And you two better start receiving enough um, whatever. So I apologize if you're getting some buffer in there. It looks like maybe so. <coughs> Excuse me. It could have something to do with the... Um, oops. With all messy weather out there too, because I don't really, I don't have anything else on. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it won't be too awfully bad. It does look like I'm freezing a little bit there. <coughs> oh, it is. Okay, stop it. I'm trying. This stream will end. Oh no. Are you there? I'm not sure what to do here. Oh, I'm trying to make this so it's not, um, Do it on this thing. I don't know that anything is happening here. I 
can't find um How about now? Is it recording now? Maybe? Are we back? It looks like maybe. Okay, I guess we better get on with it because I don't know how well this is going to work today. What's going on? Okay, so back to sentimental swirls, which is what we're using today. Um, this stamp set coordinates with a punch set out of the annual catalog, Flowers and Leaves. And I don't have this punch set, but I will order it today because <clears throat> there's not anything about this stamp set that I dislike. It is so super cute. And you can make this be as... Um, sorry, I'm going to keep watching to make sure we're still streaming here. You can use this stamp set to make your designs as simple or as intricate as you like. It can be used as a single stamp or a two-step stamp. Um, I have this out for a reason other than the fact that I was making my shopping list. Don't think so. So I can put that away. This is um, sentimental swirl. Oh, I was going to show you sentimental swirls in the new mini catalog on page 56. In case you missed this one, because I think this would be very easy to miss. You just kind of glance by it and jump right over to In the Moment, which is also another wonderful set. But don't let this one pass you by. It's pretty cute. And that is the new January to June mini catalog. Holler if you need one of those, and I will get one out to you. Don't forget, it's celebration. So when you order $50 in product or $100 in product, you be able to pick some free stuff. Oh, yeah. I need to add that to my list, too. I want, and I have a feeling it's on back order on it. I want some of that um, marvelous paper. Isn't that cool? Did you see that in the celebration catalog? It's neat. Um, the paper that I'm using today... The paper that I'm using, the designer series paper, for the first couple cards that I did, is the Friendly Hello paper. And it's so pretty. It's got such pretty springy colors. And yes, I've been chopping it up and using it. And <clears throat> you can get that stamp set. Am I in the right thing? Yes, I am. Okay. Stamp set and designer series paper for free with a hundred dollar order. We've used this stamp set a couple of times. <coughs> Excuse me, and I do continue using the paper, so that's a cool one to get too. So I played with this a bit over the weekend and um, I did do some, this is just simple stamping today because I don't have the punch and I'm not gonna sit here and fussy cut all my little flowers out and take up all that time with you. Excuse my shopping coat out of the way over here I don't know where my dirty cardboard went I gotta try to find it because I don't want it. this is extra thick and I don't want to stamp on it so all I've done so far is I did some stamping and I used a couple different colors on this one this one was um, <clears throat> pool party and fresh freesia and then I was trying to layer it on some of the designer series paper to see how I wanted it to layer up, I think, on the Fresh Freesia. And I did get a little ink spot there on my block. Actually, I made a few on there. I guess I was getting a little carried away. Petal Pink and Fresh Freesia. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that purple is my absolute favorite color. The Fresh Freesia is my nemesis because I never seem to be able to get anything to match it up. 
but I think I found a couple. So I had um, Petal Pink and Fresh Freesia cut for the background of this one because I wasn't sure which one I preferred. This one is done all in pool party with some of the designer series paper. I kind of like that monochromatic look on that. And that's just an extra card slot. So I'll, I'll continue playing with these and make them into finished cards and then um, post some pictures later. But we can play. Let's get um, something to lay on here so it's not all blurry for you. I don't know why. Oh, that one's kind of thick too. I don't know why if I just put my uh, grid paper there, everything goes all wonky, so. It's best just to have a cardboard on here and the gray background then doesn't interfere with our broadcast since something else is already doing that for us. So since I've worked a little curve on that, um, with the pastel colors a lot, I also pulled out some some brighter colors. <clears throat> I thought maybe some Magenta Madness and Coastal Cabana and oh, what was the other color that I wanted to do with that? Was a Granny Apple Green. Those three would work together. Or um, Old Olive, back, Blackberry Bliss and um, Magenta Madness. That would work together. And, oh wait, there was one more, it was, um, well, it was Calypso Coral, and I can't remember what the other colors were, but since I've been with the purple and the pink and green here, I think we'll stick to those colors right now. If I start switching up colors too much, though, I'm going to find it difficult to match any of this background paper. But what we're going to do... And this is simple stamping, so it's just stamps, ink, and paper. I have some basic white cardstock. And I did realize um, over the weekend when I was playing, <clears throat> I think these are cut a little bit bigger than what I need, and I had to cut some of my swirls off to make them fit my card. Because I like, um, oh, it was when I put the designer series paper. It really um, needed trimmed down. So let's let's cut these down to three and three quarters by five. That way I can do the swirls right inside this, and I won't have to um, trim it down. Boy, that snow is just blowing. My poor dogs. Can't even get out the driveway. <laughs> we couldn't get off the porch to get to the driveway. So, of course, this morning I went out and um, shoveled a path off the deck for them so they could go that way to get outside. And then we have um, some really pretty, they've just grown. Uh, I don't know, it's like they have some superpower that they're getting so big. We have some arborvitas out front that uh, we had planted, and they have grown so much that when I'm in the upstairs on the second floor here and I look out the front window, I can see the tops of those arborvitas over our porch roof now. So we used to put Christmas lights on those, but now my husband and I can't reach them without a ladder, and we just said forget it. <clears throat> All right, that should be enough to get us going. Um, last year we had an ice storm that layered ice all over the branches of those and I had to take a broom handle and go out and try to knock the, the ice off of them so that the branches didn't break. Well, this morning the snow was so heavy on them that they were starting to bend over again. So I had to get the, I, I took the leaf blower and I was blowing all the snow off of them. Thankfully the branches were popping back up. Okay, so 
we have the one large swirl and then there is a little left and a little right swirl so that you can add on these little extra side pieces where you want to. Um, you have the birdie outline and a fill. And we have some flowers, which I did not use yet. So I think on this one, that's what I'm going to I think I'm going to put a little bit of swirl on the top and maybe make a flower on the bottom. Because remember, I don't have dies. Or so I want to do my stamping direct. This will be directly on the base of my card or on my designer series paper on the base of my card. Won't be any. We're not going to be using um, dimensionals today unless I do it for the greeting. Mm. Excuse me while I get a swig there and <clears throat> try to get my voice back here. Okay, so let's start with some. If we're going to do, I guess we'll do some Granny Apple Green. Oh my goodness, there it goes again. What? Come on. I left Facebook and came here because Facebook was giving me trouble. horrible. There's nothing else in my house that is um, using any kind of internet. It's not sucking the power out anywhere else. I'm going to put a piece of scrap paper under my cards of the paper. And I'm going to my first stamp and then I'm going to twist my my swirl around here and do a second stamp Ooh, pretty 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 oh good lord I think we stopped again. Yes, no, maybe. I'm not sure. Ooh. Where I showed you that I had um, managed to get a little bit of ink from my block on the card and made that little spot above the birdie's beak. That happens a lot of times when you're using a, an acrylic block that's too big for your stamp. There we go. So this little spot in this one, I had those on a larger block. Actually, I might have been even just using this block. And so I did go back and switched it up and put it on just, um, I put my little bird on here. <clears throat> I thought I had one more smaller block than that, which would work better for my trailer. It's the same size. Probably fell clear to the bottom. <clears throat> Well, where that little bugger go? That's the same size too. Yep. I don't know where my little teeny tiny one went. So we're just going to go with this is a G acrylic block, and I'm going to use my Magenta Madness in full strength. But I'm already not liking it because I can see that the stamp's not on there the whole way, and I'm only going to get a partial stamp. Let's try with B, but I'll have to be very careful that I don't get ink on my block and then smear it on my card. That would make me sad. I got a fuzzy on my ink pad. Make sure. 
sure I am still on camera. I'm so worried about losing um, my feed here because it says that I'm still not getting a good stream. And so I'm actually going to layer these flowers on here, not layer them, lay them out just as if I were using um, some beads or embellishments, you know, making them a little off center from each other. Then I need to take the fill stamp, which is the same shape as the flower. <clears throat> and it does not appear to me that Good. I don't think that there's going to be like a right way and a wrong way to line my petals up I'll stamp off one time again with magenta madness and then stamp the inside of my flower I think what caught my eye about this stamp set these flowers kind of remind me of like when we were in school we used to draw little flowers all over our book covers and stuff and I'm dating myself again but I really did think um, I mean, it brought back memories, and I liked that. Even a little birdie. <clears throat> you know, he, he could have been one that would have been easy to draw, too. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Put, put pink leaves on there. That will be pretty, right? <sighs> Actually, I was thinking two things at the same time thinking that I wanted to add some extra extra swirls. And I think I'm going to do them in green also. I don't think I want to add pink swirls in here because I'm going to put my sentiment down here. I guess I could do that. And I think I'm going to do this one as a happy birthday. Loving that it's a photopolymer, so we can see right through our acrylic block where everything is layering up. Nice. And now let's put that pink away before I start making pink leaves again. What is this one tight? I don't even know if it's snapped shut. I don't like to. There we go. I don't like to put them away if I don't hear a snap shut because my ink dries up then. Um, green. Back to Granny Apple. And just to show you how these extra little swirls work, and put. Another green one here. And there. And you could keep going with these things and making it as swirly as you want. And here's my swirl going in the opposite direction. Where will I put one? I think I'll put one up there. So let me get him, stamp him off once, and add that swirl. Oh, I didn't get that all the way. Excuse my head. Let me 
try to get right over top of this and see if I can get that piece I missed. Not bad. Alright, oh, now we need some leaves. And that's actually the fill. No, it's not. That's my fill. Okay. So, just like we did the flowers, I will stamp in Granny Apple. You know what? That is a fill. Where's my outline? Oh, because there's two on here, you silly goose. There are leaves that curl to the left and leaves that curl to the right. So you could add those in. Oh, I get it. So which way are my leaves going here now? Because I imagine they're going to line up differently. I get it now. See, I didn't do leaves on my other ones. I just did the birdie. Let's see, that's going to be it. Cool beans. Nice. And I think I'll make that last one go off the edge of the paper. just so he doesn't look forgotten. And where my fill stamp go. I really can't see too much over here, but there is a little bit. Okay. Aww, that's cute. Let's get this out of the way. And let's find some paper to put this on. And then I might do another one and make a leafy vine. How's the fat? It's just a madness, huh? I thought I had one of these open and was using it already, but maybe I used it all up. I don't know. This is not one of the colors that I typically reach for. And then what can we put on there as a background paper? Let's see, I think our daffodils don't have pink in them. Forty flamingo, pale papaya. Yeah. And those don't. And Sorry, I'm right here beside you. I know it sounds like I'm... Uh, Bumblebee, Cajun Craze, Crumb Cake. I'm trying to find designer series paper that is currently available. But I may not have any. Might have to use um, something for my background that isn't readily available in this catalog. Had to go with magenta madness, huh? Had to pick pink. Silly girl. And I wanted, let's see, these were blush and dried. I wanted to get my um, little 
in colored gems or something to put in the center of my flowers. That's pale papaya and mint macaron. I still have stuff sitting out here from Christmas in the front of my bin that I didn't use. We do have our basic rhinestones that we can color to be whatever color we want. Always is a plus. All right. About. You know, I seriously don't know if I have anything with magenta madness in it. Or, oh, I know, I know, because. I have the in colors and six by six. Oh, if I'm shaking you all around, I'm sorry. My six by six papers are right under my laptop. Oh, jeez. This is the polished pink. Can I get away with it, do you think? Oh, maybe I can. All right, I'd be happy with that. Fresh regional. Whatever made me pick Magenta Madness. Mm. This is not too bad. All right, let's do that one. I'll just... <coughs> That's why we're not finding any 12 by 12 sheets. I don't have them in 12 by 12. Oh, well, you know, it is Monday. And I, I make my designer series paper layer usually at four and four and one eight. And then when I layer that onto my card base, I have a very small eighth of an inch border around it. That's my preference. You know, a lot of people prefer having a quarter inch border. Did I cut this really crooked? Look at that. A bit of an overhang there. Do I dare mess with it? You know what happens when I do this? I make my paper too short then. Or I tear the corner. Up and see don't cross out and this layer on here. And we want um, oh, I can reach my black and throw them all over the floor. on Mambo, and lovely lipstick might be my closest pink. Because I don't have magenta madness, but that's okay. That's, that's the deal that we have to um, learn to live with in this day and age now, because I think our days of, I want it right now, I think those might be over. So, using my Stampin' Blend, which is an alcohol-based marker, we could color in our rhinestones to be whatever color we want. Try not to press your point too hard on those because these are a little bit rough and you can ruin the tip of your, your blend. 
I'm also going to grab I had the Fresh Freesia ribbon out. Um, let's see. Thank goodness Polish Pink and Magenta Madness work together. I think I'll add some Polished Pink. Oh, yeah. Why not right around the top, huh? Okay, so look at how those ideas just kind of come, right? Out of nowhere. Let's put... A little bit of ribbon across the top just to get this pink the whole way across my card. And we'll just adhere that on each end with a glue dot. Mm -hmm. Yep. To line it up a little bit straight. Then yes, my fingers do work usually. I think my skin has gotten so dry this winter though that it just really makes it difficult to grasp. Oh, I had you, you little bugger. Come on. And then, just to make matters worse, the other day, I don't I don't even know what I was doing. Oh, I think I went to, <laughs> I think I went to reach for the light switch, and I accidentally hit the, the door frame with my finger tip, and my skin's so dry that it made a little a little tiny cut on my fingertip. And I keep joking, I told my husband, I may as well have my hand in a cast because that fingertip hurts so bad. Got a little fake bow right there. Stay down. And I think we'll, um, I think I'm going to add a glue dot behind there just so it doesn't Come untied because that sheer ribbon sometimes will move around. I need a little glue dot. Going for a ride. Oh, Please don't stick to me. Please. And I've been putting lotion on my hands every night before I go to bed. I try to put lotion on after I'm done with my dishes and stuff. But I have to be careful because I'm doing some embroidery. And I don't want lotion on my embroidery just like I can't put lotion on my hands before I do this because I certainly don't want to make my paper all greasy make a birthday card for hubby. His birthday is the 23rd, but I don't think he's going to want pink flowers on his. He likes all the cards that I make, but I think I'll go with something just a little bit more masculine for him. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Now let's get our little pink stones, and I'm going to get them mixed up with the cherry cobbler ones that are on there. Oh, look at you, little guy.
And look at that. Now my my um, computer says I have an excellent con connection. Oh, there. I was going to say, but my iPad was not moving along. It wasn't playing nice. All right, so there is one cue. Well, good, I like it. Oh, that one's a little bit long. Let's cut that end. Yay. All right, let's do a, a, a viney one, and we'll add a bird. We'll do a viney one with some leaves on it in old olive. Maybe I should be smart. And instead of old olive, I should use, what is this, soft succulent maybe? Move over there. Yep. Grab soft succulent instead. my rhinestones back in here so that I can continue coloring them whatever color I need. And, let's see, there's some soft succulent paper. Let's do like this little lattice looking background. Yeah, so these, um, these are the 21 through 2023 in colors. And these are just little six by six designer series papers and you get um, I forget how many of each sheet but they come in super duper handy when you don't have a designer series paper that matches what you want to do like we just well, I don't know why I was thinking they were in a 12 by 12 uh, Oh, that's meant that far. Oh my goodness, I'm pulling out every color of green. I just got just jade, and we haven't even used that in forever. There it is. My goodness. Let's just struggle through it. I think maybe, no, still snow, I was going to say, I think maybe it quit. It's lightening up, but it's still there. So enough. I mean, I'm used to it. I live in western Pennsylvania. I don't know where you're at. And we know that January and February, even March and April, are going to be a wreck. But I have never really cared for snow. If I enjoyed it when I was young, I don't remember. I don't like being cold. Except when I'm sleeping. I really prefer it very cold when I'm sleeping. But, um, yeah. Four and one eighth. By five and three eighths. it either that the doggies really can't I mean if you have a larger dog and they like the snow and like to go out and play little dogs good lord they wouldn't be able to even walk in this but like my dog is our one dog is rather elderly so 
I mean, steps are a struggle for her to begin with. And like today, she can't even see the steps. There are no steps. Well, there are now because I shoveled them off. But um, all right, where my big stamp go? Oh, look at that! Can you see the line down my ink pad? What was that about? Weird. Oh. All right. Let's go the opposite direction on this one and come up from the bottom. We're going to add some um, leaves to this one and, and maybe we'll put a little bird sitting on this. Oh, I just touched that with my finger. I thought maybe I was going to go off the edge, but I didn't. Pulled out um, embossing folders too because I thought maybe we could. I thought maybe we could emboss. The panel here before we put it on a card. I think I'll leave that. Let's see where's our birdie going to fit best. doesn't really fit on this bottom one though his head gets chopped off so I'm going to put birdie up on this top swirl which means that I can add some leaves here that's weird my ink pad seems to be um, darker on that one side too The other one with the leaves going in the other direction. Oh, that's where Birdie's going. Four, five, okay, five branches, five little leaf branches. Good. Now we need our little fill stamp. And I think, maybe not, maybe they do go in a direction. Two step stamping. I don't like it when I forget to stamp off before trying to fill in my outline. I get really mad at myself when I do that. birdie so I didn't like the idea of stamping my bird in memento black ink because well my first card obviously I did those all with the pastel colors and I thought that the black looked a little too harsh you'll go back up there magenta madness 
So I stamped my bird in basic gray. Dark enough to see, but not as um, stark black as Memento. And then we need to fill our little birdie in. And I think I think the pool party looked kind of nice with him stamped in that. A little bit of a blue bird. So let's just get some pool party. Stamp it off once. And fill in our little bird. He's so cute. Now we need a greeting on here. We can say hello. Hello. So let's do hello in. Well, I guess I may as well stay with soft succulent because actually that birdie doesn't look really blue blue. That's gray anyway. So let's get a hello. Again, simple stamping, one layer card. We do have um, Succulent ribbon. It looks like the stream's still going, so that's good. So I just put all these ribbons away, and now here I am pulling them all out again. Let's just add a little bow maybe on this one because I'm still trying to find those little. Oh, hang on. I know what it is I want to add to this. And I had them out for a different card, but they were the wrong colors. Oh, don't make me pull my head bin up here. Some hearts. Who are those from? I don't even know what those are. It's a thank you gift. That's what I want. That's what I want. Well, those just might come in handy. I wonder if I could color those. I don't even know what these are. No, they're not stamping up. They, oh, they look like um, maybe Doris. I bet I could color those with a blend, too, and use them on some Valentine's. Oh, my poor little Rubbermaid container down there was so nice and neat, and now I've just thrown everything back in there. All right, let's make a little bow. Yep, that's right, I cheat. Uh-huh. Little bows are not my my specialty here. And I either could sit here and play with it for a half an hour trying to make a cute little bow, or I could just do it on this little bow maker thingamabob and be done with it. Yeah. So I do cheat on my bows. Mm-hmm. And I have a great big one up there on my shelf to make large bows for wreaths. I cheat on those too. <laughs> oh, 
now you know the awful truth. Oh, I pulled these out when I was talking about embossing our background. I have a bunch of these little, these have been in a tin for years, and I forget about them. These are from when I first started paper crafting, and I was using cuddle bugs. But aren't these cute little embossing folders? They just do like an edge. And there was one in there that kind of made me think of this. That's why I laid them on my table. I didn't know if I would be able to use one. What's that say? With love. Oh, cute. I'd, I'd really have to use my brain to think about which way that one. Yep, that way. Okay. Well, back to the card at hand, silly girl. Now I can cover up that little spot down there, too, that didn't ink very well. I can do that with a bow. All right, let's get this layered together. Um, do we want to emboss this? So you, the embossing folders <clears throat> I have that are still available to you, there's an Ornate Floral 3D. That might be all right. Hammered Metal. One of my favorite. I'm so glad that one's still available. And Painted Texture is also a favorite. I thought maybe the Parisian Flourish 3D embossing folder might work nice with the... Oh, and Tasteful Textures. We have that one as well. Then a couple that aren't available anymore that were my favorites. Scripty 3D, Time Worn Type, which I can't believe we can't get that one. And Subtles, oh, the Subtles folder. That time worn type, I have to look because maybe it is in a catalog somewhere and I've missed it. Or I'll just have to look on the Stampin' Up! website and see if um, if you can still get that one. Just with, um, gosh, what was that wonderful stamp set that we used time and time again? The Wildflower one. Okay, so let's just take our cut and emboss. Take the cutting mat out. Oh, look at that. My hour's up already because of silly streaming interference. Darn it. So adding a an embossed background is just going to give us a little bit more interest. I guess I need my blue, my blue plate for this, my blue plate special. Um, without adding any bulk or, you know, I, like I said, I wasn't going to add dimension because I didn't have the die cut or punch or anything like this. So just by adding a little bit of an embossed background, you see the detail that we added there? That Parisian one's kind of cute with that. It's all right. Yeah. Set that guy back down there. I like the little dots that I left on there. Am I straight? Am I straight? Oh, see, now I've added some dimension to my paper, so rather than use my my um, Stamp and Seal Plus, I'm just going to use a little liquid glue on the back so that it will help get into all those little nooks and cranny, crannies. crannies. <laughs> I 
Well, I think that little bit of white in the lattice background of that designer series paper <clears throat> helps too. Yeah. So these were the square gems in the in colors. Put these little buggers. Now I have the embossing on there. Now I have bumps in my paper. <laughs> uh -huh. Help me. Down in there, honey. A little embossing idea. <clears throat> Might have backfired on that. Oh, I lost my bow. There it is. There you go. Sentimental swirls. Yeah. I kind of like the embossed background on there. It really does um, make a difference. Look at how different that looks than from just having it on plain paper. So, thanks again for stopping by and crafting with me a little bit on this snowy Monday. I'll be back on Wednesday with my journaling video and also my first, um, I got my first package from my five item swap that I'm gonna share with my viewers on Wednesday with my journals. And then Friday, I'll be back with some paper crafting fun. I'm like, Quite sure what I'm gonna do on Friday. Maybe I'll play with those other little embossing strips because those just look like they're gonna be fun. So y'all stay warm and cozy and safe and um, try not to go out in that snowy mess if you don't have to go. Thanks everybody.